from atomic to cosmic all physical bodies are capable of producing vibrations all physical bodies when they undergo dynamic loading will experience resonance to some degree here in this example the street light pole is undergoing a resonance due to wind which is a dynamic loading the application of resonance is observed with atomic to astronomical scale of physical bodies in various fields the resonance can become destructive if the system is not constrained properly this phenomena is widely observed in all modern machines like automobiles aeroplanes helicopters rotating machineries even with bridges and buildings in our previous video on resonance we discussed in detail about resonance occurrence and the physics behind it in this video we will understand with a real world problem and focus on how to mitigate the negative effects of resonance the largest machine on earth the bucket wheel excavator had reports of excessive vibration in the bucket or boom these levels are so high that the operator ceases to operate for the fear of the machine catastrophically failing and the vibration experienced by the operators was in the vertical plane on the boom after mimicking the actual problematic condition it was observed that the vibration was always at the same frequency and the amplitude would increase very quickly it is the clear indication of resonance condition under specific operating condition the operating frequency of vibration was determined to be approximately 22 cycles per minute in vertical direction from bump test the bucket or boom natural frequency was observed at approximately 22 cycles per minute so it would appear that the excessive vibration is the result of a resonance condition the natural frequency of the bucket system is being excited by the specific operating condition into resonance practice one may not able to avoid completely the resonance especially those who deals with the multiple excitation sources which has wide frequency range interacting simultaneously with many systems which has multiple natural frequencies just like in the case of automobile where many rotating components interacting with the multiple modes or frequencies of the body due to this reason it is desirable to have frequency management plan during the development of the vehicle the coupling of these frequencies should be balanced in the best possible way based on different operating conditions in order to avoid the resonance condition one can work on the source or excitation side or on the system side based on the possibilities of changes allowed if both changes are not possible one has to go for passive techniques like application of damping tune mass absorbers negative spring stiffness techniques from the equation of natural frequency one can increase the natural frequency either by increasing the stiffness or decreasing the mass of the system similarly decreasing of natural frequency can be done by increasing the mass or decreasing the stiffness of the system in practice the increase in natural frequency is accomplished by increasing the stiffness without significant addition of mass this can be done by providing 
bending beatings dimpling and embossment are addition of ribs to the sheet metals or structures similarly decreasing of natural frequency is accomplished by increasing the mass because decreasing stiffness may lead to excessive movement of the parts and hitting with the surrounding parts if one has decided to work on the source side there are two options available that is changing the operating rpm or reducing the forcing amplitude the reducing forcing amplitude also reduces the response at resonance this can be achieved in practice by proper balancing of rotating parts or correcting the misalignment misalignments etc if both the changes are not possible that is to work on the source and work on the system side one has to go for passive techniques like application of damping tuned mass absorbers negative spring stiffness techniques the application of damping can reduce the severity of vibration operating at or near a natural frequency the plot shows the reduction in amplitude of the system response as damping increases in practice damping treatments are often used to reduce vibrations the another way of reducing the vibration at resonance by using the passive technique called tuned mass damper a tuned mass damper modification is created by adding an additional mass spring system tuned to the natural frequency of an existing system there are two changes a tuned mass absorber or damper popularly called as tmd brings to the original system one is the original system's natural frequency is split into two and another important change is that at the initial natural frequency of the original system the additional spring mass damper vibrates but not the original system one of the benefits of a tuned absorber approach is that the additional mass and stiffness change to the original system can be minimal and the tuned dynamic absorbers also used to help reduce the swaying vibration in bridges and buildings another way of reducing resonance is by using negative spring stiffness technique here the system's natural frequency is moved to the lower side by reducing the stiffness of the system under dynamic state by using following arrangement by shifting the natural frequency to the lower side one can observe amplitude reduction at the resonance of the original system not only this one has to consider the isolation graph before deciding the type of modification as shown here thanks for watching the video and please provide your comments about the video and for any additional information